Assalamu alaikum friends this is Sami and you are watching civil engineers YouTube channel dear friends in this video lecture today i am going to discuss about important points to be checked for reinforcement at site this topic is too much important for every civil engineer if you are working on site so you have to learn these points for checking reinforcement at site let's get start but don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends so before placing reinforcement on slab so you have to check size of bar as the size of bar is okay which is in drying for reinforcement or not without the drying you should not check size of bar you have to keep the drying with yourself for checking reinforcement at site and see as the dia of bar is okay or not okay second one length of bar should be checked for main bar and also distribution bar okay length of bar should be checked okay before placing steel on slab beam etc okay after that check the position of bar as the position of bar is okay or not with the drying okay steel drying and four number is numbers of bar should be checked when you place the steel on slab so after that you have to check numbers of bar and main main side and also distribution side is the numbers of bar is correct or not okay with the drying so uh, in distribution bar you have to count all the number of steel bars in slab and also for main bars you have to check numbers of bar this point is too much important for site engineer when they are working on site and the fifth one is lap length okay so is the lap length is okay or not what is lap length i have already discussed okay so when you place this steel on the slab so you have to check the lapping length okay this is called lapping length okay? so is this lapping length is okay or not right for main bar and also distribution bars for both you have to check sixth one is clear cover and cover blocks for reinforcement okay so you have to check the clear cover for slab beam column etc on site you have to check the clear cover and also check the cover block that uh, sometime we uh, put the blocks uh, this is called uh, blocks okay so this is the steels okay we put here in slab blocks okay you have to check the depth of the uh, blocks for clear cover okay it should be checked in slab and also beam uh, column etc the seventh one is spacing of bar and slab reinforcement and also stirrup when you place the steel in slab so you have to check the main bar uh, spacing and also distribution bar spacing and as well as you have to check the stirrup spacing at one we have a direction of bar is the direction of bar is okay in slab or not ninth one check all the dimension of slab and beam etc so with drawing you have to check the dimension for the slab its depth its length its width okay you have to check and also for the beam depth and also its length and also its width okay you have to check with drawing this point is also too much important without the dimension if the dimension is not okay so it can make many problems for you the last one you have a chick slab and beam level before concreting so when you place all the steel and slab so after that you have to check the level for the beam and slab okay without the level we have to not start the concrete work okay so if the level of the beam and column is okay so after that we have to start concrete work so these are some useful tips which i have to discuss the front of you so you must be learn these points if you need the article about this video so the link is in the description of this video or just visit to my website www.civilstudents.com so if you have any questions so you comments i will try to reply your answer see you in next video thanks for watching bye bye